welcome to Play Pilates. My name is Emily and this is Jemima. Let's come and stand with me, Jemima. Good morning, everybody. Come on in. Make yourself at home for Play Pilates. Nice to see you today. Hello, come on in. Are you going to say good morning to everybody? <laughs> what have you had for breakfast today, Jemima? Crumpet and cereal. Crumpet and cereal, yeah. Double breakfast in this house. <laughs> What did you have on your crumpet? Pentley and peanut butter. All together? <laughs> oh my goodness, honey and peanut butter on crumpets this morning in this house. Oh my goodness, I think that might be an inspiration for our snack today. Good morning everybody, welcome to Play Pilates. Lovely to see you. Jemima, do you want to go and get our book so we can remind ourselves of who we're meeting today? So hello, if this is your first time to play Pilates, welcome. Um, today, we are going to be carrying on our story with Ronald the Rhino. I appreciate that's probably back to front for you guys. Um, Ronald the Rhino is one of Twinkle Original books, which you can find on their website with lots and lots of resources. And they even have ebooks, so you don't even have to have the book yourself to be able to go and enjoy Ronald's story. Now, if you were doing Play Pilates on Tuesday, you'll know how to get ready for this. So whilst I have a chat to the grown-ups, children, do you want to go and find your teddies and then go and find a space? So Jemima's got her Pilates mat already and she's picked out some teddies. So grown-ups, welcome to Play Pilates. So There's just three things we think about when we do our Play Pilates. One is that we keep nice and safe and we do only the things that we think is right for our bodies. Um, also, we make sure that we're keeping lots and lots of um, clear space and we're making a nice safe space for us to, to move. So making sure we've picked up all those toys and got rid of everything. And then last of all, just have lots of fun. Don't worry about getting it perfect. So is that Amelia? Oh, good morning, Amelia. Nice to see you. Welcome to Play Pilates. Are you going to say hi to Amelia? Hi, Amelia. Amelia, that's it. Great. So if you haven't already, Go and grab your teddies, grab your Pilates mat, and when you're ready, we're gonna come and stand on our mat and we're gonna get ready to start singing our hello song. Now, Jemima, what are the four things that we say hello to in our hello song? We say each hello to the sun. To the sun. Each other. To each other. And then we also. The to the stars. And the corn. The corn, yeah. So we say hello to the sun, hello to the corn. We say hello to the beautiful twinkly stars and we say hello to each other. So hello to all of you. Good morning if you've just joined us. Welcome to Play Pilates. We're going to start singing our hello song and then we'll come back and see who's all logged in. Are you ready? Yeah. Come on then, let's go and have a stand on our mat. Did you want to stand at the front of the mat? And I'll stand just behind. Perfect. So when you're ready, I'm going to come and stand you just here, sweetheart, lovely, perfect. Okay, now when we do our Pilates, we have beautiful, beautiful posture. And by that, I mean that your body is standing in a lovely position where your body's really happy. So I want you to imagine that there's a helium balloon that I've tied to your head. I've tied it to the very top hair on your head and it's pulling you all the way into the sky. That's it. But then you've got these big magnets on your feet, which are sucking your feet down into the floor. So you feel like you're being gently stretched, like an elastic band. Can you do that for me? Go all floppy, and then imagine your head's attached to a helium balloon, the magnets switch on your feet, ready, steady, whoop. Nice and tall, lovely, great, gorgeous. Okay, are you ready? Let's say hello to the sun. Say hello to the sun, shining down on me. I love the sun because the sun warms me. Oh, gorgeous. Yes, we love a bit of sunshine today, wouldn't we? It was very rainy yesterday. Let's come down onto the floor and make yourself into a tiny seed. And we're going to grow into some corn. So teeny, teeny, tiny, can you curl yourself up? How small can you be? When you're ready, off we go. Say hello to the corn growing just for me. I love the corn because the corn feeds me. Delicious, that's what we need, something yummy to eat. Okay, let's put some lovely twinkly stars up in the sky. So big stretchy legs, big stretchy arms. When you're ready, off we go. Say hello to the stars, twinkling just for me. I love the stars because they gladden me. Well done. Okay, so now we're going to say hello to everybody. So that might be somebody stood on the mat next to you, or it might be me on the screen. So when you're ready, let's pop our hands up over our eyes and let's have a look who's joined us today. 
Say hello to my friends standing next to me. I love my friends because they stick with me. Great, let's say hello, hello, hello. Right, do you want to bring your teddies over? One of your teddies over to show everybody who's joined us. Hello, hello, everybody. Right then, so today we're going to go off on an adventure with Ronald the Rhino. And when you're ready, we're going to come down onto our mats and have our snack before we go. Are you ready? Okay then. So, Joanna, you said that you wanted us to have crumpets this morning, didn't you? Again. Again. Oh, dearie me. So, let's sit on the ends of the mat facing each other. Okay. So, we need some crumpets, don't we? So, let's put our legs out. We need to, are we having them toasted? Hot or cold crumpets? Hot! Hot crumpets. So, when you're ready, let's take our crumpets. Ooh, and that's it, yeah. Let's make sure we've got plenty of space behind us. Let's roll on our backs. Pairs our crumpet up in the air. When you're ready, pop that crumpet down in the toaster. And let's give those crumpets a nice big rub. rub, 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 rub. And let's get them nice and toasty and warm and golden. Ready, steady, pop. Oh, I don't know. Do you think they need a bit longer, Jemima? Yeah. Okay, back down they go. Off we go. Rub, 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 rub. Toasty, toasty, toasty. Ready, steady, pop. Oh, delicious. I think they're ready. Right then, let's rock up and sit. And let's put some toppings on our crumpets. Should we put some butter on first, or honey, or? Oh, you're going straight for the Nutella. I might go for just some butter today. So let's scoop what we need, our toppings, and then let's spread it all along our legs. And spread out all the way down to our toes. Oh, you your knife, yes. Spread it down the side of the crumpet, all the way to your ankles, all the way up to your hips, all over. Delicious. Now, have you got that knife ready to chop? Should we chop that crumpet in half? Off we go. Chop, 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 chop. Great. Shall we eat some? Off we go. So pick up half of your crumpet and off we go. A much, 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 I feel ready to go off with Ronald the Rhino now. Perfect. Let me grab Ronald the Rhino book. Now, Ronald had a hard time in understanding how special he was. He wanted to be everybody else, didn't he, Jemima? His two friends in the book. Snake and leopard. Leopard, yes. So if you haven't seen this book before, Ronald has two friends. He has Leopard and Python. And at first he really wanted to be like them because he thought they were so amazing. And actually his friends helped him realize how special he was. They took him down to the river and they got him to look at his reflection. And he was like, wow, that's an amazing, wonderful me. me. Yeah. So we thought today we could do some amazing, wonderful me's me. and you's and see exactly how wonderful and amazing our bodies are. And we need our friends to help us. So I've got Jemima helping me, I'm helping Jemima, and we're helping you remember how amazing you are. So let's come on to our mats. So we'll leave Ronald at the back there, looking at his reflection and being helped by his friends, remembering how amazing and wonderful he is. Now, we have got amazing bodies, haven't we? And I think we should go all the way from our toes to our nose, to our fingertips. So remember, so, can we start? Let's find our toes first of all. Can you find your toes? Now, run your fingers all the way up to your nose and then out to your fingers. And again, off we go, down from your toes, Amazing, wonderful you, all the way to your nose and out to your fingers. Right then, let's think about these legs. Now, we've got some amazing legs, haven't we? I think, though, we need to inspect them a little bit closer to make sure they really are as amazing and wonderful as we think they are. So, nice long legs. Let's have a look here at our legs. So I'm going to come and have a look at my right leg. So I'm going to have a look. Look all the way down to my toes and then all the way back up. It's pretty good, isn't it? Should we have a look at the other side? So let's have a look at our opposite leg, all the way down to our toes, all the way back up to our hip. They are wonderful. I want to go and have a look again. Off we go, let's have a look down our leg. And then let's have a look down the other leg. Wow, what wonderful 
lovely legs we all have. Now, shall we do some amazing things with our legs? How about some big monster walks? Can you do monster legs? And can you do some monster walking? Monster, monster, monster walking. Really big, big monster legs, that's it. All the way across the room. You might even want to do some monster noises or monster arms. What do you want to do with your monster arms, Jemima? There we go, big, big monster legs. Wow, what amazing strong legs you have. Now, Jemima, I know what your legs are also very good at, balancing. So can you go all the way up onto your tiptoes? That's it, balance, stay up on your tiptoes, stay still. Just on both toes, both toes, that's it. Nice and tall, and back down again. And can you go up again? Up, up, up on those toes. Now, can you walk around on your tippy toes? That's it. And you punt, that's it, and step. Step, walk on your tippy toes, that's it, and step. And step, and step, and step. Nice and high on those toes. Oh, what lovely long toes and legs you have. You are very good at balancing. Now, I think we should test how good your balance is. Do you mind come and stand on the mat for me? And let's see how good your balance is. Can you, like a ballerina, can you sweep your leg up your other leg, a bit like a flamingo, and can you balance it and stay really, really tall? You might like to do your ballet arms. You might like to do strong arms or Superman arms. That's it. Oh, now, do you think you can wobble and stay still? Wobble, 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 and stay still. And again, wobble, 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 stay still. Go, wobble, 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 stay still. Now I've got a real test for you. Can you close your eyes? Oh, that is hard, isn't it? No, you got it? Okay, let's try that other leg. So can you put your other foot on your opposite leg and stand there? Now, can you do some jiggly, 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 jiggly? Whoop, stay still. And again, jiggly, 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 jiggly. Stay still. And again, jiggle, 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 jiggle. Stay still. Go on, see if you can close your eyes again on this side. Ooh. Can you feel how when you close your eyes, this is this now. When you close your eyes, how your leg starts to wobble even more. Amazing. And that's because your body works together. Your eyes work with your legs to help you balance. Okay. Now another thing we would like to do is to come down onto the floor and we're going to do some little scissor legs. So do you want to face me, Jemima? I'm going to do some chopping legs, so make sure you've got enough room so you don't chop someone's nose off. We mustn't do that, shall we? Now, can you do some little chop, chop, chop legs? Because your legs are very good at moving, aren't they? Now, can you move them slowly? Super, super, super slow. And can you move them fast? Opening up 
up your wings, showing all your beautiful colours and feathers. That's it. Sweep and sweep. You know what? It's very tempting when you are stayed still and sweeping your hands to go flying. Shall we go flying? When you're ready, off we go, off we go. Let's sweep those hands and sweep, sweep, sweep all the way around the room. Now, you might be, like you said, an eagle flying over mountains, or maybe you're a fairy flying over your secret garden. A butterfly. A butterfly, maybe. If you're a butterfly, maybe we could come and land onto a flower here. Can you land? There we go. One more time. Let's fly back off again. Or a bird. Let's soar like a bird then. Soar all the way through those clouds and through the sky. Really all the way back to our mat. Now I know something else that your arms are very good at. They can be very strong and they can move like a robot. So can you fold your hands up and can you come out all the way into here? Coming up? There you go. We lost you for a second there. Okay, so can you reach up and down, up and down, like a robot, up and down, up and down, up and down. There we go. Now, you might even like to twist those arms and go forwards and back, forwards and back, forwards and back. Now, have you got a robot voice, Jemima? Can I hear your robot voice? I am a robot. Okay, let's do some I am robot. So if we walk around being robots with our robot arm. I am a robot. Hello, robot Jemima. Hello, robot Emily. <laughs> a robot. Hello, robot arms. Hello, everybody's robot arms. Hello, well, robot Tim. Okay, right then. So, oh, now our arms were very stiff, weren't they, like robots? They worked in this very, very, very stiff pattern. Now, we can make our arms move soft like we're painting. So let's imagine we've got a big, big piece of paper in front of us and we, our fingertips have turned to paintbrushes. And should we do some big sweeps of paint all over the page? You might like to sweep down low or sweep up high. Wow, what beautiful paintings. Now you might like to even come and paint in the middle here. Lovely. What are you going to paint today? Maybe you're going to paint some flowers or the sunshine or maybe you're going to paint the corn that we talk about in our welcome song. Do you mind what are you painting today? The garden. The garden. We can see the garden behind you. So we're going to paint our garden. Beautiful. Lots of green and there's lots of sunshine today as well. What's behind us? Are you painting something beautiful? I bet you are. Your arms are amazing. They can be fast and they can be sweeping and soft and they can stretch out really long, can't they? What amazing arms you have. Now, Jemima, what have we missed out? We've done legs, we've done arms, we need to do our tummy. Our tummy and our body. So let's come down onto our knees and let's see how twisty our body can be. So can you twist, 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 twist? I want you to imagine that your tummy is like your flannel when you're having your bath and it's absolutely soaking wet and we're going to twist and twist, twist like you're wringing that flannel out. Twist, 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 twist. Oh, did we get all the last drops out? No, we need to do more. Okay, more twisting, off you go. So you might even like to do some twisty arms with it as well. You might like to stay nice and tight with your robot arms. Twist. So what are you going to do? Are you going to do your big painting arms? Or are you going to do your robot arms with your twisty tummy? Twist, twist, twist. Well done. Now, let's have a nice wriggle with our bodies. So let's come down onto our mats. And then from here, we're going to play a little game and we're going to do something called cat and puppy and cow. So, cat, can you round your back, push your hands to the floor, round your spine, and give your spine a little wiggle. And maybe a little meow, meow, meow. Now, let's let our tummies sink to the floor, gently lifting your chest forward so your body bends the other way. I'm going to do a cow here. Can you do moo, moo, moo? Well done. And then last of all, we're going to do puppy, and I'm going to come in front of you. So your bottom stay, there you say, bottom stays up nice and high, and you just slide your hands down. And you might.
time you need to do a little let's come back up again so can you round your body like a cat meow 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 you might like to arch your back gently and look forwards and do a big and then slide down into your puppy so bottom stays in the air that's it and then go Okay, one more time. Round we go. Rounding that spine, looking down at the floor. And then arch the body, look forwards, big move. And let's slide out and go to our puppy. Bottom up in the air, half down low. monster walks excuse me <clears throat> they've learned remembered how well they can balance how tricky it is when we close our eyes and my lovely body can move in twists and bends so what we're going to do now is we're going to come and lie down can we lie down Jemima with one of your tennis there you go and we're going to remember how wonderful our mind is so our brain and our head so we have a little lie down and you can lie down wherever you feel happy to like Jemima is you might be lying on your, laid on your side or maybe laid on your back, snuggling your teddies. And it's absolutely fine if you want a cushion or your blanket or anything like that. You can lie down wherever you feel comfortable to. Now your mind is amazing. And you're inside your mind, aren't you? All the things you are thinking and feeling and imagining. So I want you to think now about your favourite, favourite place to be. You don't have to tell anybody where it is. You can just think of it now. Can you see it in your mind? Maybe you can hear the sounds. Maybe you could even smell. What are you thinking? Now I want you to imagine that you're there. And you're walking along in that place, enjoying that amazing special place. And that might be somewhere you've imagined and made up in your own mind. It might be a very special place that you like to go to. Now, I want you to imagine you've invited your very, very best friends and family and all the people you love to come and enjoy it as well. So maybe think about that person you'd love to meet there. And maybe you imagine giving them a big hug and how excited you feel that they are with you there too. So whenever you feel like you need to take a special trip somewhere or see a friend, and maybe you can't do those, remember you have an amazing, wonderful mind which can take you absolutely anywhere with anyone. Well done everybody. I hope you've remembered today how amazing and wonderful you are and how amazing and wonderful your body is and how amazing and wonderful your mind is. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be seeing you again next week on Tuesday 9am and we're going to be meeting some more of our special Twinkle friends. I hope you have a lovely weekend. Take care. Bye-bye. Let's say hello to people. Oh, hello. Hi, Ellie Grace. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed it today. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a great day.